Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Transformer action figure. This one comes from the studio series Transformers the Movie Toy Line, and this here is Rekgar. Now, just like always, before we take a look at the figure himself, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So let's go ahead and look at this box here. As you can see, once again, has a big open window so you can actually see the figure, which is really cool. I like the way they did this figure. And on the bottom over here, you got some artwork of Rekgar looking really cool. And at the bottom, you got 86 Studio Series Rekgar Transformers, the movie with the Hasbro logo along the side. You got Transformers written there along with the Autobot logo Generations. And you got a close-up artwork design of Rekgar right there on the side of the box. Really cool. And on the back, you got some legal mumbo jumbo and some product shots of the figure right here, which once again is really cool. You can see by his alt mode. And here is the legal mumbo jumbo. And once again, you got another piece of artwork that's really cool on the side of the box. And on the top, Transformers, more legal mumbo jumbo. But enough about the box, guys. Let's go ahead, let's get him out of the packaging, and let's take a look at the figure himself. All right, guys, so here he is out of the package. Very cool looking, very authentic to the movie. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at some of the detail on him. As you can see here, he's got a very nice head scope. Looks just like he did in the movie. You got detail going all the way up and down him once again. You know, even though the cartoons back in the day had some flat panels and some plain coloring, they kind of went a little bit more detailed with the figures here, which is cool. Oh, almost hit the camera with them there. Very nicely did. I just love the way they did everything. The backpack is nicely done. Not a lot of kibble hanging off the back. He does have some hollowness in his arms and at his ankles, but not really that bad. Very cool looking once again. I like this figure. He's very simple, as you'll see with the transformation. But once again, very detailed, very cool looking for my Transformers the movie shelf, as you can see with the head. Now, his head is on a ball joint, but the way they mounted it, it can only go up or down, look left or right. He doesn't have any weeble wobble on it, which is okay. Fine by me. Now, his hands, as you can see, his hands go all the way 90 degrees and rotate 360 at the shoulder. And at the elbow, he does do 90 degrees, and he does have bicep rotation right there. You can see now he does have wrist rotation at the at the wrist right there, which is really cool. Now, let's go ahead and move the arms up the way. He does have hip rotation as well. And due to transformation, he also has a little bit of a hip bend right there, so you can actually have red guard look down or crouch over whichever way you want to do it once again great for articulation now he can go 90 degrees watch the spikes there he can go 90 degrees at the hip as you can see here very cool and he can go 90 degrees forward and let's put that down 90 degrees back and at the knee he can bend about 90 degrees, I'm going to say it's a little bit less than 90 degrees, but kind of looks like the way he's shaped. He does have thigh rotation as well. Now, when it comes to the feet, his feet can tilt down and tilt up a little bit. And he does have some ankle tiltage right there, which is really cool once again. This is a really nicely done figure. I do like it a lot. I'm glad I actually got him. He is really cool. As soon as I saw him on the shelf, I knew I had to get him. Now, he does come with some accessories. Obviously, we're going to need the tires of Red Guard so we can put him in his alt mode. And they actually go on his robot mode. So, here they go. Now, the instructions say to put it on this side of the robot figure. And I've noticed they only fit one way on here. If you try it the other way, they won't, they won't fit in the peg hole. So let's go ahead and get the other tire mounted. 
Now as you can see that I tried one way it won't fit, but now if I put it this way, it snaps in and it does it's able to rotate, which is really cool. So now we pretty much got red guard. Let me get him ready to stand. So we pretty much got red guard the way he looks like in the cartoon. And he does have one more accessory, his weapon, which is his little spinning rotating axe here. Once again, really cool. So let's go ahead and let's mount that in his hands. Get it there, nice and tight. All right, so here we go. Once again, we got Red Gar. Once again, a very cool figure. I like this figure. But guys, we're gonna go into transformation, but first, let's do a quick comparison. So let's go ahead and compare him to one of my other Junkion Planet of Junk figures. Let's move Red Gar over, and let's make room for my Transformers Generation version of Junk Keep. Now, as you can see here, Junk Keep is a little bit smaller in the figure, but you can tell he obviously transforms into a motorcycle. As with Red Guard from the Transformers, the movie, you really can't tell until he actually does it. But once again, very two very cool figures here. Very nicely done. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's transform Red Guard and let's check out his alt mode. The Transformers will return after these messages. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wait to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, robots in disguise. Under attack! It's the Decepticons! Get more Autobots! The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, from Hasbro. We now return to the Transformers. All right, guys, so here is Red Guard's alt mode, which is a motorcycle made of complete junk, and that's what it looks like, a motorcycle made in a junkyard. So let's go ahead and get a closer look. You got these spiked wheels. You got these spikes on the side here. Now, this one's a little bent. Hopefully, it'll straighten out, probably bent through the packaging. You got these little gun nozzles here, which in the robot mode is Red Guard's chest plate there. You know what they are, I'm not gonna say them on the video. But all in all, very nicely done, simple transformation. He's, it's easily transformed and you can see where everything goes. It is really cool. Now you can see these two little stands that kick out so you can actually keep them standing up. Now here's the view from the top. Here's the view from the bottom. Pretty much does hide a lot of the robot. If you didn't know this was a transformer, you would've thought it was just a weird looking vehicle. You really can't tell it's a robot very nicely done i do like the way they did this vehicle and like i said it looks just like the motorcycles from the transformers the movie and it does look like junk red guard in his alt mode now it does say with the weapon you actually take this and mount it in the back which is kind of weird weapon storage just so let's go ahead and let me show you where it shows it's this peg back here so you go ahead and just pop that back there now it looks 100% really weird. Now that you got a little propeller back there. Not sure if, if I noticed that in the movie, but that's what the instructions say. So it is what it is. And here we go once again with the Transformers Generation Junk Keep. As you can see, his alt mode motorcycle is more of a dirt bike as Red Gar is more of a cruiser style, apocalyptic type bike. So as you can see there on the side, both of them once again looking really cool i do like these figures and red guard's gonna make a great addition to my transformers the movie shelf well guys that's gonna wrap up this episode for today all right guys so that's gonna wrap up another episode of toy collector review now when it comes to my recommendation on this figure of red Gar, do i recommend picking him up definitely definitely he is a figure worth adding to your collection he is the red guard from the cartoon from the movie it is very iconic of him and if you guys are collecting transform figures you definitely got to get this red guard figure it is really cool as you can see with the display 
and with the other generation one this one is a really cool figure and it is easy to transform and he is very articulated as you as you saw so you can pose him in all different kinds of ways once again it is a very cool figure and i do recommend a lot picking him up if you can get your hands on him go ahead and pick him up as soon as possible well guys once again we come to the point of the video where if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button become a member of this channel Hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put a new video out. And guys, share this video on all your social media platforms. And if you like the content that I'm putting on this channel, go ahead and smash that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you guys who are watching this on Rumble, go ahead and smash that Rumble button. And guys, if there's anything in particular you would like to see on this channel, go ahead and hit me in the comment section below. And I will do my best to try to get that out there for you guys. Once again, I'm Sergeant Geek and I'm signing off.